Hi, my name is James and I'm an optical engineer here at a company called SkySight in Boulder, Colorado. So we utilize uh, radio controlled helicopters, actually multi-rotors here at SkySight um, that allow us to carry high definition cameras and get close range aerial imagery. We fly around on film sets whether they're adventure film sets, commercial film sets, documentaries, feature films. Um, and this is a fairly new field. What we do is actually fill the space in between a traditional ground footage shot and a full-size helicopter shot. So what I really like about being a control engineer is that um, I get to work on problems such as um, how to make a, a helicopter fly really stable so that you can get really nice smooth footage out of it or so that you can fly it really safely around crowds or people or, um, or other objects. And what you get to see is direct feedback as you're solving the problem. So if you encounter a problem, um, the helicopter is too unstable or it's um, responding too slowly to user input, you get to see exactly how your problem solving is applied and works in the field. So recently we did a, a few shoots uh, up at uh, high elevation and high elevation for us is you know up at 12 or 13,000 feet and what we found was that uh, our helicopters acted differently up at a higher elevation than they did down here at 5,000 feet and there's many reasons why that is, but the, the end result was that we needed to change our control system and sometimes even mechanical components on our helicopters in order to fly successfully up at higher elevations. Um, so there's, there's kind of a wonder, wonderful process in, um, in control engineering where you get bogged down with solving really complex problems and usually it's large number of problems compounded on top of each other. The great part of solving those problems is actually getting to see your work in the field, working after being bogged down with all of those problems. Well, engineering is always kind of a thankless job because the only other people in the world that understand how much work you put into it are other engineers. Um, so a lot of the times, if you do your job really well as an engineer, um, people think that it looks really simple. And that's the beauty of really good engineering is a really simple looking product that just works. And therefore people say, well, that doesn't look very complicated. So it's thankless in that sense. You are the only one who knows what went into that really complex task.